My name is Faraz Khan, I'm the CEO and the uh, co-founder of Seed Ventures. Seed Ventures is an investment uh, company that invests in high potential, high growth startups and social enterprises. But more importantly, it invests into the entrepreneurial ecosystem of countries. Uh, when I say countries, we started off with Pakistan, uh, an extremely challenging market. Um, and uh, from investment to incubation to acceleration programs to training programs to curriculums, we developed um, a, a reasonably advanced model. And then we engaged the private sector, the governments, um, the local governments, um, the development sector and the academia in actually partner, partnering. And um, it has actually uh, taken a very robust shape in the past eight years. Um, this uh, gathering is phenomenal because it brings in experience from the Middle East, uh, Morocco, uh, the UK, um, and South Asia. Now these are these are markets where the level of competences and the level of expertise they vary in various fields, and the bridge it is trying to create to, uh, with investments and opportunities and scale uh, is something that is much needed. Uh, it, it is more like a window of opportunity for investors uh, with um, uh, commercially savvy and potentially successful startups uh, in a more uh, robust and uh, strategic manner in which the risk would be definitely mitigated if done properly. Uh, rather than East and West, I would actually uh, make it uh, developed uh, markets to emerging markets. Now, emerging markets do not, or still are finding ways to develop their ecosystem. And finance and access to finance and investment is a major part of that. So there's a great learning paradigm from the developed environment and the developed countries that could be learned and channelized towards the emerging markets. What emerging market offers is uh, innovation and potential of scale um, and the cost of that scale. So like for instance, you are, uh, you, you've got a fantastic idea and you need to uh, scale it up in let's say Europe. The cost of that scale uh, is going to be higher because A, the, the market is smaller. Now, if you look at the emerging markets, um, Pakistan is, is the sixth largest country in the world. Karachi in itself, just one city, is bigger than 107 countries. So, and uh, the, the, the cost and the scale and the potential of that scale up for an, an investor and, an, and, and a brilliant idea would be much easier. And, you know, the return of investment and potential impact, uh, would, the, the quantification of that would be uh, much easier. So they're fantastic offerings and what Gazelle Advisory does is it, you know, it, it brings both the, um, the segments sit together and find a value proposition and say alright, you know, we have this, you have this, let's work together. I've stopped giving sweeping statements simply because they always come back on my face but um, I think a mix of experience uh, and wisdom that can never be substituted with youth and passion. A great mix of both is very much required. Uh, and I'm not just trying to be politically correct here. Uh, I've seen it work. I've, I've seen fantastic young entrepreneurial ideas um, uh, uh, nosedive uh, and then pick up again when an experienced soul has actually come into the play. And I've seen experienced individuals struggling uh, and the, the, the youthful energy actually gives them that stimulus. So uh, majority of the enterprises that we have invested into are a combination of experience and youth. The dynamics of a, an emerging market or a developing market, uh, they vary they, they, and, and they're totally different compared to a developed economy. If you look at a developed economy, uh, the, the urban rural landscapes are uh, more structured uh, with the government support and, and the community supports because they have evolved over a period of a uh, long time with structured uh, approaches. In emerging markets, uh, the governments um, and the stakeholders are struggling to actually find their way. When I say struggling, I think I'm being really critical. I think that they're finding their feet at this point of time. Um, so the people 
the, 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 the communities have to come up with solutions that are need-based. If they don't do it, if they don't be, they're not disruptive, if they're not innovative, if they're not efficient, they will, um, you know, um, they'll just perish. Uh, you go back two centuries, uh, I'll give you an example of Germany. And there was a huge, amazing article in which it compared the entrepreneurial spirit of Europe with uh, the uh, West Indies or, or, or tropical areas. And they say weather is a fantastic paradigm in which, which makes uh, an, an, a nation uh, more entrepreneurial and efficient. Now, in uh, tropical climates, if you don't do anything, the, f the, the fruit will come, uh, you know, you can have fruit, you have access to water, you've got fantastic weather. So you don't need to work that hard in order to survive. But in, if in Germany or in Europe, during the winters, if you're not planned enough, you would perish. So the reason the developed economies are really far ahead with these entrepreneurial structures is because they had to live with, adapt, learn, improve, innovate. And I think that's the kind of an uh, atmosphere that the emerging economies are kind of finding uh, at this point of time. So you, you need to understand geography, um, environment, uh, climate, into uh, understanding why emerging markets are emerging markets and why um, uh, developed markets are developed markets. I, I think it's critical uh, if you really want to develop and, and bring together the emerging uh, economies with the developed economies, because now it's need-based. In the West, be it Americas, or the Europe, the UK, uh, they're going through a, a different set of turbulence. And uh, they need growth, they need uh, returns, uh, and this is what the developing and emerging markets are offering. The, it's about value proposition now. Uh, it, it cannot be one-sided anymore. So they need to give a value proposition to the uh, other, other set, which is the emerging and the development, and if that happens, um, and these uh, events and these setups are critical in creating that bridge, uh, in creating that value proposition conversations that would actually uh, bring in stimulus to the future growth of, of, of the world. So these, the, the, these events are, are really, really important because they're, 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 they're purpose driven and they're, they're focusing on value propositions rather than uh, just uh, one side view of, of, of a particular stakeholder. Uh, Gazelle has done a fantastic job in a, in a very short span of bringing in the right kind of stakeholders. I think the next um, phase of uh, um, growth would be to create, um, to convert these value propositions into actual transactions and then demonstrate performance uh, of uh, potential success of these transactions. And that's where the effect is going to come through. But um, in a very short time, they have done a fantastic job.